Okay, you guys. So we talked about accepting that it is okay to spend all day not doing anything. It is okay. It is okay spending the entire day in bed. It is okay. We are accepting that that is okay. What we're not going to do is shame ourselves for spending all day in bed. What we're not going to do is shame ourselves for not being productive because rest is productive. What we're not going to do is shame ourselves, right? We talked about that because sometimes when we don't feel like doing anything, maybe we're dealing with depression. But when we shame ourselves, that just gives us a whole nother layer of like guilt and shame that we have to work through. And that's just extra work. So we're not going to do that. But what we're also not going to do is allow other people in our lives to shame us, whether that's friends, family members, or partners. I'm really going to zoom in on partners because I have, I've decided that it is a red flag for your partner to shame you for spending all day in bed. Like, if your partner says something like, oh, so you've been in bed all day? It makes you feel bad, right? Or, oh, so you did nothing with your day? Again, it makes you feel bad. And if that's your partner's response, you probably need a new partner. Because from now on, if I am looking to, like, to see if this person will be a good partner for me, if he ever responds with, oh, oh, you, you really spent all day in bed? No, red flag. The only appropriate response to, hey, I couldn't get out of bed today. The only appropriate response for him to respond is, I'm pretty sure you needed the rest. Can I please bring you soup? It seems like you need rest. Can I please bring you juice and water so you can hydrate? Let me get you some Gatorade. I, if you haven't been able to get out of bed today, I'm pretty sure you didn't really eat today, so let me bring you something to eat. That is an attentive partner. Those are green flags I'm going to be looking for from now on. Like, that's an attentive partner. That's a caring partner. That's a partner you want in your life. That is support. You want, if, if you're going to be with somebody, you want a support of somebody. You don't want somebody that's going to guilt trip you. Because if you're with somebody that's going to guilt trip you every time you're feeling down, you're just better off alone, honey. Rant over.